Look at my beautiful Dominica owners walking in the walkway. This is Shit. so beautiful. You never see Tarzan before. There is Tarzan. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Ray, oh my goodness. That was about to scare me for a second. <laughs> oh my hey you guys welcome back to my youtube channel so i definitely want to always first and foremost give a shout out to everyone that has subscribed to my channel and is following me on my new youtube journey by watching my videos liking or commenting um of course you know my biggest thing is that i have so many friends on social media but when you put out the idea of doing something for yourself or anything like that people just does not support but if it was something that involved money prizes me shaking my body yeah you know how many likes and followers i would get then but with that being said i just want to a, you know send a big thanks to everyone that has been supporting me so i put part one video out yesterday so this will be part two video and it's more so um featuring long distance relationships i recently went to jamaica for a week to visit my boyfriend and uh, i'm back home now in arizona where i currently live and it's tough, it's hard. So I just wanted to give a, you know, video based in, you know, this whole long distance relationship idea and, you know, pros and cons and whatnot or, you know, anything like that. This is my first time ever being in a long distance relationship, like ever traveling to visit someone to, you know to be with them like this is just the first i've been in a relationship where uh it, the person was a drive away but i still always used to see the person on their off days um or you know vacation time or whatever it was more frequent than how it is now so again giving a little bit of update what people might not remember or know i was in a three and a half year relationship with a female um my fiance at the time and during the time so i want to give a whole update on how i met richard during that time when i met richard i was traveling back to jamaica with a friend for her birthday and I was single at this time. Like the other, what previous 
two times that I went to Jamaica before I was in a relationship, but my significant other at the time could not come with me because of work or, you know, finances and stuff like that. So, um, I never necessarily went on a trip with my significant other. So here I am single. This is the first time that I'm single in three and a half years. So, you know, in my mind, I'm just like, hey, yes, I'm going to party it up. I don't have no, you know, commitments or anything. And not stating that I wanted to do anything, but just the fact of putting myself out there to just say, hey, I'm finally single. And, you know, and I just want to have a good time. Other times before, it was more so being respectful for my relationship and, you know, being kind of, you know, conservative and like, eh, you know, I'm not going to be do doing this or doing that or whatever. So, um, August, um, what's that? August 2nd or yeah, August 2nd, I believe it was like August 2nd. Um, I was at the Holiday Inn, um, and I just could remember seeing him and he basically was trying to get my attention and I basically ignored him a little bit, you know, cause I was like, eh, you know, at that point, I think I had already, um, had like, uh, four people numbers at that point because, you know, they want to give you their number because they're on the WhatsApp and they want you to hit them up and hang out and let's meet up, let's have fun, especially when they know that you're from, you know, Merlin or something like that, you know, automatically, I don't know why people just assume that you want to go out of town to link up if you get what I'm saying, but those were, you know, definitely is not my intention. I feel like it's no different from where you are at than where you are going, like having fun, meeting up at the club, drinking, talking, flirting, whatever. Yeah, that's cool. You know? So, um, I believe it was like the second day, um, that I was there and um this time you know he just was not going to let me pass by like he was just like hey you know come here and i want to talk to you and i don't know what it was but that whole energy was so different from the energy that i was getting from the other men previously like where it was just more so like fun like ah, okay i got somebody number cool he's cute whatever boom nothing behind it but it was just like when i met richard it was more like i was shy um i was a little bit nervous and I'm, i don't know why i didn't know this person um he came up to me and i'm exchanging you know my towels and i'm like you know i just want to get in he's just like hey so you know what are you doing tonight and I'm like, well, you know, I, I don't really have any plans. I could see, you know, if me and my homegirl want to go out or anything like that. He was like, yeah, because it's a party that, you know, I would want you to come to. And then he asks, like, can I feel your hand? And I'm just like, okay, <laughs> you know, cool, whatever. Um, and then, of course, you know, he was just like, I'm going to write my number down. Um, and he was like, you know, make sure you, you know, hit me up or whatever and you know we'll we'll hang out so that was just the meetup you know what i mean and i was just like oh, okay well he seemed cool but right off the back when i hit him up because i did hit him up like really really fast like where i was just like hey you know this is dominica you met me earlier you i'm um, said that you wanted us to go to this party or whatever like that so what happened was we went to one club and um, the other club or party that, um, Richard wanted me to go to wasn't that far from the other club. And, um, you know, I'm, he's basically trying to reach out to me. I'm trying to reach out to him, but we just could not get through. So I'm thinking like, oh, you know, I came out for nothing. I'm not going to see him and stuff like that. It was just like the energy was drawing me directly to him and our texts were as if we knew each other already. I don't know. Like we were already talking like, Hey babe. Okay. What are you wearing tonight? And I'm wearing this. Okay. Well, I'm gonna wear this color. It was like really, really crazy. Like, um, and I didn't think too much of it or anything like that. I had such an amazing time with him, you know, and it was, it was like, it was just 
a energy pushing me towards him and at this point you know i'm I'm conflicting with my feelings because I recently, you know, just had the move out of my ex-fiance and I just really didn't want him to be like a standby or, you know, a rebound option just because I was already feeling what I was feeling towards my ex or, you know, the lack of not being in a relationship no more. So when he, um, I don't know, we both was on the same page of keeping in contact he asked and I asked and I was just like, okay, cool. Let's see where this goes. But did I think anything serious of it? No, because when I got back in Maryland, I did tell him, you know, like, hey, yeah, um, I haven't been with men in over seven years. And at first he didn't catch on. Like, he was just like, huh, what that mean? Like, you what just like single celibate whatever and i'm just like yeah no i been dating women for the past seven years and i have not had no sexual encounters or any other relationship with men for those seven years so this is something new to me this is something that i have to rebuild and gain and you know figure out because being with men in my past was just bad and I just really didn't connect well with them and it just was always something that was pushing me away from them and I had had you know relationships with guys previously before I you know just ended up just having multiple relationships with women now I dated women and guys at the same time but I didn't never take women seriously so at this point seven years ago I guess I, I met a person took them serious enough to be in a relationship with them and then it just went on from there so that's just how that went and um so, you know, with him, like, we immediately cling to each other. Like, I cling to him. He cling to me because we were talking every day, literally from morning, uh, afternoon, and nighttime. Like, that was our process. That was our process of things, like, and I felt my feelings for him just, like, click. And I don't want to, like, sound, you know, cliche or anything like that. But literally, it felt like love at first sight. I never felt that way towards a guy and just meeting someone and just clicking with them and just feeling like, oh, I don't want to not talk to them. You get what I'm saying? And that's what it was. I wanted to be around him. I wanted to talk to him. And I felt so much love and you know, everything, romance and stuff just from him, like where I just couldn't resist the feelings that I was having. So in my mind, not really telling him how I'm thinking or my thinking process, we end up agreeing for me to come back to see him in October. So mind you, I went in August, I moved in September and uh, that kind of pushed back my plans a little bit. But in October, this was the agreement for me to re meet up with him because uh, he was supposed to have about um, a couple weeks off from, you know, work and stuff like that. And that would have gave us a better building on our relationship and you know seeing if this is something that's real this is how I'm thinking seeing if it's real and you know if this is just something that I really really want to do now mind you I already have my feelings caught up so <laughs> it's not more so of really deciding anything like I already felt like I loved him from the jump and, you know, I'm just head over heels over him and I'm just cheesing, smiling and it's just something different. So when I go back to Jamaica in October and I spend one month with him and his family um, and his handsome son and literally when I tell you it was the best one month, like... I never felt myself so vulnerable and so open with someone. And I had different relationships where, you know, people were good and stuff like that. But the, just the chemistry or the connection wasn't there. The chemistry was there. And it was like kind of sad a little bit because um, at 
that point um the job pushed his time back so he was going to work so i would stay home and i will miss him and then when he come we just you know we we'll have a good time and being there for that month and seeing him front and center with his feelings and how he was treating me it just intensified my love that i already had for him and I just knew it was real. Like, I just knew that I was doing the right thing for myself. And, you know, some people might say, oh, well, you fell too fast. You're moving too fast. But listen, at the end of the day, I can't deny my feelings. And I can't deny what I was feeling in my heart. So I'm just that type of person. I'm going to go with my heart. I'm going to go with my feelings. You know, sometimes we rush into situations and it can be bad or sometimes, you know, you go with your heart and then it could just end up being something really, really good for you because of that person as well. That's putting the energy out there to basically get to know you and show you everything that they are as a person and not being, you know, a user or a cheater or anything like that. And... I just, I just felt for him. I felt for him. And I just was like, you know, I even prayed on it because I'm like, am I moving too fast? Is it something that um, I need to take time with? But the more I prayed, the more I wanted to be next to him and be near him. So fast forwarding a little bit or rewinding back a little bit, like, the long distance relationship can work if it's workable for those two people. If that person really willing to put up the effort and time for his video chats, calls and stuff like that, because had he not been the type of person that video chat me every day where I can see his everyday life and thing, because we don't do audio calls we only video chat like i need to see your face and he needs to see my face uh had he not been that type of person maybe um i would not have fell for him as i did or even really put that much energy into the relationship with him because i wouldn't really feel like i knew him i wouldn't really feel like you know i knew him and it's just all about having trust if you really trust that person i always been the type of person of i'm not going to put any existent problems out there if there are none or no evidence of meaning if he haven't shown me that he's a liar or he's a cheater or anything like that i'm not going to put that into existence because i feel like that's just going to cause unnecessary problems in a relationship and then you got this big old thing where you not having a good relationship and trust and arguing i don't want no relationship like that so building trust is a big thing in any relationship it doesn't even matter if it's long distance long distance just intensify that feeling or you know that emotion because you don't know what the other person is doing is is they really at work or you know you're home alone is somebody really there with you or anything like that you really have to you know build that within yourself and that relationship to trust that person because it helps if you don't have that you don't have no relationship at all communication is the next thing if i cannot communicate with you i cannot be in a relationship with you simple as that i am 31 and i am not about to continue no relationship from the age 31 and older with lack of communication it's 2020 and if you just don't got it you're never going to get it and i don't want to be a part of it and that's how i really you know live by my life and stand by he's very good with his communication if we have any different disagreement or anything like that you know, we talk about it, we say our peace, and then we just keep it moving because no relationship is perfect. You have moments of, you know, feeling, you know, ways about things. Like for me, my feelings is just being lonely. Like I'm here in Arizona, I'm completely by myself. I have no family, not even no friends that I could really trust, you know, or, or anything. Well, lack of, I don't really have no friends here or anything like that. And, um, I'm by myself, you know, so me being by myself and just 
home and you know i just want him there i want to feel him i want to smell him i want to see him and smile and be there and stuff like i li literally developed like a clinginess that i just never really knew that i had inside of me because i never allowed that type of emotion or reaction to really come out with previous relationships i always felt resistance i always felt like you know i'm not going to give all you know or have my guard up and with him i'm completely different i have my guard completely down not you know i have enough down where i'm vulnerable but i do have a guard up to where i can protect myself as well i'm very opinionated i stand up for myself so i don't have my guard down where i just will fall for anything but I have my guard down enough to allow him to come into my life and just love me unconditionally and me loving him unconditionally. So then then you have, you know, urges like that is the biggest thing. You know, when you long distance and you can't touch and feel the person, especially if it is good, you know, which that is a, a plus anyway. But, um, you know, I never really been the type of person to like really want or that base around my relationship but having someone there when you know that they can help relieve stress and tension and stuff like that is always a good thing nothing bad is about that i would rather have that than be stressed and then i'm just like trying to figure out things or you know maybe i can call this person no I want him here so if I have a hard day at work and people was getting on my nerves and I didn't vent to him and stress and then next thing you know you know he massaging my body and then yeah that's awesome to me to have <laughs> so but that's just another thing and it's just more so of not being able to you know because I don't know if anything would ever happen to him and you know if I don't reach him, because how it is in Jamaica, you know, if they necessarily don't have a cell phone plan, they can either get credits on their phone or they basically can um, use Wi-Fi to use the WhatsApp, which is a free app that um, everyone use when it's just like out of the state and stuff like that. But it's long distance with the credit. So it's like, <laughs> do I want to continue at a long distance to my phone bill or something and a high phone bill or do I just wait for him to get Wi-Fi and hoping that he hurry up and get online and then we conversate so that is a difficult part right there because I worry so much for him because I just really truly and deeply love this man that I just, you know, when I don't hear from him, I just, I kind of go into a path of thinking the worst, that something happened and he got off of work and this is that, you know, and I'm trying to calm that down. Yes, because I didn't had a few episodes where I literally, um, cried and really was like worried where I had to call up, you know, my cousin, my friend, and I'm just like, I haven't heard from him and oh my God, you know, yeah. So, <laughs> um, and I never really necessarily been that type of person, but he brings that out of me. And of course, like I just went back to visit him a week um, ago. My birthday was January 8th and I was supposed to visit him around my birthday. His birthday is January 18th so he made the last bit of Capricorns. Hey! Um, and you know he made it happen for me um, to really come and visit him for his birthday. And just the fact of knowing that you know he just wants to make sure that I'm good no matter what because I was really going through a tough time emotionally and I feel like I kind of went into a little bit of depression a little bit um because transitioning from moving and not really being happy with my job anymore like a lot of things was just taking effect of that um and he just like listen I'm gonna make something happen I want you to come for my birthday and I just appreciate that about him I don't have to beg for it like when I'm over there I don't have to 
reach out and be like, babe, please, please, can you tie my shoe for me? Can you do this? Like, all I could do was just call out to him and be like, babe, can you help me? He's there. Like, he's just 100% there. Uh, he helped me take my hair out and, you know, wash my hair for me. If I need him to wash my back, he was washing my back. Like, I love that about him that I just don't have to beg for it. And that's what I found before in my previous relationship. I was begging for those simple things. The fact that he does the simple things makes the bigger things so much more appreciative. Because I'm a very simple person. And if you can show me that side of you that I can count on you and I, you can count on me, I feel like a relationship is perfect that way. Now, not literally going to be perfect because, of course, we know we're going to have issues and problems. But the fact of the matter that I see that in him and, you know, it doesn't take much for him to just be there. It's just like, OK, I'm here, babe. You need me? Boom. And it's just I'm just very happy like i literally love this man i want to be with him i look forward to my future you know with him um i do want to have more kids the fact that he wants to have more kids is something you know that's good because i don't have to beg for it or be searching or anything like that we can do it together you know i only have one child by the way um so and my son is 13. So, yeah, you know, I want to experience being a mom again and really um, having that whole foundation of a family. And that's something that I really, um, you know, really live for, you know, happiness and a simple life. I'm not a materialistic person. So to me, just being with your spouse and just making things work, you know, without struggling and stuff like that that's all that matters and with me and him that's just what I feel like I love the connection I love the energy and I truly I truly love him and I just look forward to more and more happiness and growth and uh, you know success in our relationship and as long as we have each other and we continue on the path that we're on listen i feel like the long distance relationship can work yes it takes time and money because unfortunately you know he is considered an immigrant so with him trying to transition from like getting a visa and stuff like that it takes time to do that so because i'm a, you know American citizen, I basically can travel anytime I want when I got the time and finances to do that. So it's just, I don't know, I have questions too. Like, how y'all guys give me like an idea how many months you think that you should go without seeing your partner in a long distance relationship? Like, should you go visit them every four months? every six months like how would you do that because for me i feel like <laughs> i feel like um uh, like every two to three months is good like because i don't know like i really be missing him like literally i just came back there but if we were to make it happen and the next couple weeks for me to go see him i will be right on a plane like ASAP like okay I'm coming back to see my man and I don't know if it makes it sad or if it just makes it you know just be that I'm just in love and I'm just chasing that love and you know chasing my relationship but all in all you know that's just how I am and that's how we are together and I really you know appreciate it appreciate see I cannot speak English so do not come for me <laughs> say something nice but I definitely appreciate that about him but if you guys have any questions and comments and stuff just please comment below let me know let me know how you guys will handle uh the long distance relationship how uh, much time would you let go by before traveling back to go see your um significant other uh how would you even consider moving you know if that person cannot move in that timely matter and y'all work together to make it happen where you know like visas and stuff like that is involved um 
you know, like what, what what's, what's y'all input on that? You know, with having a whole long distance relationship, would you do it? Would you not do it? You know, just let me know. Comment below, please. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Support me on my new YouTube journey. And I promise you, I will get so much better with my editing and post more videos. I'm in process of getting like a whole setup and lighting um, and stuff like that uh, to really make it much more better and stuff like that. But listen, I'm new to this. We're on this journey together. So follow me along and subscribe below. Please give this video a thumbs up for more videos about my long distance relationship. I have more uh, pictures and videos of my journey of going back to Jamaica and just support. That's just the main thing. So thank you, you guys, for following me along on this video. Subscribe, 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 share, like, comment, do whatever you have to do to support and, you know, make it known and trust and believe I will shout you out and everything. I will definitely read every comment because I just feel like when you, you know, have a fan base, you definitely, you know, need to show that you appreciate that. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers so definitely subscribe you guys thank you continue to follow me on this journey